Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss, where today I'll be sharing some good news and some bad news for Star Trek fans after Paramount revealed the fate of both Strange New Worlds and Lower Decks. It is crazy to think that just two years ago, there were five new series being produced by Paramount for the franchise, with the studio also teasing a new movie with a brand new release date. Flash forward two years, and fans have yet to see any new films from the studio, and now only one of these five series will be producing new content after this year. So I'm going to go over this news, but also take a look at the state of the franchise and decide if maybe Star Trek's best days are behind them. But before I get into all of that, I want to thank you for clicking on this video and ask that if you do enjoy the content and would like to support the channel, to please hit that like button. This news came out late last week directly from Paramount, who in the same breath renewed Strange New Worlds for a fourth season and also canceled Lower Decks after their upcoming fifth season. I will discuss the Lower Decks news in depth. But first, I want to give credit where credit is due and state my excitement that Strange New Worlds is continuing on. This show has definitely become the strongest of any of the new series being produced by Alex Kurtzman, and my hope is that it will get at least five seasons, if not more. Unfortunately, audiences will not get to see the upcoming third season of the show until 2025, mainly due to the writers and actors strike last year, which stopped production right before it was set to begin. The cast has been busy filming since the beginning of this year, and hopefully this means that the show will be released in the first quarter of 2025. There hasn't really been anything else revealed about the next season, except that Martin Quinn will be returning as a young Montgomery Scott, possibly in a co-starring role. The flip side of this announcement is that the animated series Lower Decks will be ending after its upcoming fifth season, which is scheduled to be released in the fourth quarter of 2024. The studio released a statement about this, and I've put it on the screen now if you'd like to read it. Now you may recall that Star Trek Discovery was cancelled before their fifth season was set to air as well, and this caused the show's production to complete reshoots to give the cast a proper send-off. Work on the fifth season of Lower Decks was reported to have been completed in February of 2024, and unlike the announcement in regard to Discovery, the studio did not state that any additional footage would need to be created for Lower Decks and their final season. This could mean that the show's cast and staff knew about the show's cancellation while they were still in production, so the finale was originally written as a series finale. Lower Decks creator Mike McMahon, who coincidentally just signed on to create a new series for Comedy Central based on the popular arcade game Golden Axe, has said that there is a possibility for the show to be sold to another network or streaming service. Paramount was able to sell the second season of the other new animated Star Trek series Prodigy to the streaming service Netflix in 2023, but in that case, Prodigy's second season had already been produced and all Netflix had to do was air it. So getting another network or streamer to pick up the Lower Decks show and cast for a sixth season would be a much bigger endeavor and one most studios would probably not want to undertake. This means that 2024 will bring the last seasons of both Lower Decks and Discovery after 2023 brought the final seasons of Picard along with Prodigy, making Strange New Worlds the only Star Trek show left standing and while it does seem to have a bright future with two new seasons of content, the future of the rest of the universe can be considered muddled if you consider not just the state of the franchise, but also the state of the studio who owns it. A new series was announced last year named Star Trek Starfleet Academy, which was able to assemble a writer's room before the strike took place that includes Lower Decks cast member Tawny Newsome. Little is still known about this series a year later, however, the show's producers have confirmed that it will take place in the 32nd century, possibly continuing the adventures of some of the characters from Star Trek Discovery. While there are plenty of reasons to get excited about this show, the fact that it has been stated that the show will be targeting a young adult audience has many longtime fans of the franchise trepidatious about how the series will turn out. Two other new series have been teased by Star Trek producers over the last couple of years, an anthology series designed as a character study named Tales of the Federation, along with a series named Star Trek Legacy that follows certain characters from the final season of Star Trek Picard, but neither project has picked up any steam at the studio. Then there is the movie that I mentioned earlier that at one point had a release date in 2023. Originally, it was thought that the studio was attempting to make the fourth film in the J.J. Abrams universe, which over the years has had as many as half a dozen different directors attached to it. Paramount still contends that they are trying to make one more movie, including at least some of the cast led by Chris Pine, but now that we are almost eight years away from the release of the third film with this cast, Star Trek Beyond, it is hard to believe that audiences will ever get to see the cast on screen together again. There is also a movie that is being billed as an origin story for Starfleet itself, which was first announced this year. Toby Haynes is attached to direct this film, and just last week, Paramount announced that the film is scheduled to go into production in 2024, with the intent on releasing it in theaters sometime in 2025. 
Then of course, there is the Section 31 film starring Michelle Yeoh that is also set to be released in 2025. One thing that makes the Section 31 movie stand out is that it is being released on Paramount Plus and not in theaters, a first for the franchise. The movie is currently filming, and if you would like to know more about any of these films, I did a video about them recently that I will link here and in the description. So after looking at all these projects, do you believe that Star Trek is a franchise in decline? In my humble opinion, I believe that Star Trek is a cyclical franchise that comes and goes like the sun and moon. If you look back on the history of Star Trek, it isn't as if the world was enamored with these characters from the minute they debuted on screen until Alex Kurtzman took over. Let's not forget that the original series was cancelled after just three seasons, which is two less than Discovery and Lower Decks will end up with. There is even a well-known fan belief that every other movie in the Star Trek catalog is a quote-unquote good one. For me personally, this Lower Decks news does hit harder because I'm a big fan of the series and would selfishly love to see it go on. But five seasons is something to be proud of, and it looks like mostly everyone involved in the series is better off now and getting good opportunities elsewhere. I also like that even though Tawny Newsome will not be voicing Beckett Mariner on Lower Decks, she will still be writing for Starfleet Academy in the future. There is also the possibility that because of the crossover episode last year, that animated characters from Lower Decks could appear in live action in the future. Honestly, after so many resets, I don't even know what to think of the planned movies set to be released in theaters. But I do think that the Section 31 movie could be an important moment for the future of the franchise. With it being the first Star Trek film not to be released in theaters, the studio will be gauging its success on a different scale, which could help more movies like this get made. The entertainment industry is not the same as it was even a decade ago, and plenty of people would rather consume content on their devices than have to go to a movie theater at a specific time. So if Section 31 is a success, this could open the door for a lot more stories like this to come out in this manner. Then there is a possible sale of Paramount. It was also reported last week that the production company Skydance has begun heavy negotiations with Paramount in an effort to buy some or all their assets. Skydance does have a history with producing Star Trek along with J.J. Abrams, which would seem to bode well for the franchise should Skydance become the new owner. However, it is impossible to gauge what a company will do in these kinds of situations since Paramount has many other assets also in play. So just because Star Trek is important to you and I, does not mean that it will be the first franchise the company invests in. A good example of this process recently is Disney's purchase of Fox and its assets. Now the company first spent a lot of time and money on franchises like Star Wars and the MCU, and then years later began releasing new content for smaller franchises like Predator and Alien. So this means that a purchase could jumpstart Star Trek, or it could put them in a holding pattern for a few years while the new buyer decides what to do. But I tend to believe that any company that buys Paramount will recognize not only the future potential of Star Trek, but also the strength of what is currently still being produced, mainly Strange New Worlds. So all in all, my advice would be not to fret too much about the future of Star Trek. It is easy to hit the panic button after four series end in two years, but I think that this is just the end of one cycle and the beginning of the next for the franchise. There are a lot of stories to tell in this universe, and I still believe that it is one of the most promising futures of any science fiction franchise. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with what I said, or do you believe that this is simply the death rattle and that Star Trek is over? Let me know in the comments below. Well that is all I have this time, but let me know if I missed anything. Thank you very much for watching, please remember to hit that like button before you go, and I'll see you next time on What Did I Miss?